We have something very excited in store for today's video. The first game ever for my favorite pitcher in MLB The Show 21 is happening right now and I honestly was not at all prepared for it. Walter Johnson! This is Walter Johnson's rookie card and he is 19 years old. Holy shit, Walter. I mean, you're just out of high school. Anyways, man, I was not at all prepared for this debut at all just because, I mean, I just got off a 10-hour shift at work. I mean, that's right. YouTube's not my full-time job. It's pretty obvious it's not my full-time job. That's the goal though. That's what we're trying to go for here But anyways, I just worked 10 long ass hours and now I was just gonna come home and relax But then I saw that they released the new packs and Walter Johnson happened to be in those packs And that's when I said fuck man. It's it's grind time now Walter Johnson's in the game We need to get a video out of him plus it's been a little bit since I've had a video too Been working them 10 hour shifts man. I've been grinding my ass off make some of that money and then also hopefully make chase TV money one day. That is what we're doing here, and Walter Johnson is gonna go pitch his ass off. He's got 110 stamina. This motherfucker is like a war horse from the Civil War. He just does not quit. So yes, let's go get in a game with Walter Johnson. I'm very excited. Hopefully he does not give up a shit pile of runs. We are the home team, and we're gonna find out too real quick if Walter has that 102 fastball still. I don't know if he does. Walk your ass out to the mound, Walter. Wipe your nose off, fix your hat, get some of that sunscreen and rosin on there, and let's go through. 102 miles per hour. You know first pitch gonna be a fastball. We gonna hum that dang in there. Let's see how fast it is. Oh, it's 100. He's expecting the 102. Maybe since it's his 91 overall card, he doesn't have the 102 fastball just yet. 100. That That's still pretty damn fast. Good luck hitting it. Strikeout number one for Walter Johnson. It's only fitting that the first batter Walter Johnson faces, he strikes out on three pitches. All right, popped him up for Bill Hogan. Go catch it. Pull some of that pine tar out of your ass. We need to dial it up to 102. I don't think pine tar increases velocity. I think it's just spin rate. Or does spin rate increase velocity? I, I don't know. Not too sure with this shit. Don't hang that to Shohei, all right? Well, am I easy to go catch it and we're gonna go hit? Ice cream, ice cream cones. Ah. Oh, shit. I left these on the mound. Duke doesn't care, never mind. All right, well, let's not have a video like last video where we just could not get the offense going at any point of the game. Marcus is still in the lineup. I mean, we only used him once, and that was last video, and he did all right. I think he got two base hit singles. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not great, but it's, it's just good. We also decided to give Lou Gehrig another chance, too, because I'm tired of either home runs or strikeouts from Adam Dunn. It's always fun when he's just hitting absolute tanks into the bleachers, but, I mean, when he's striking out, it's not that fun. Same story with Bill Hogan. It almost makes me want to take his ass out of the lineup. I mean, shit. That ball was actually kind of smoked. It's either ground outs or pop-ups for Hogan as of late. All right, he's swung and miss. I mean, Hogan's bat speed's slowing down. He's also a lower overall right now, too, as we are trying to grind him out. We're doing the Yo Adrian fucking thing, whatever it's called. Whatever the special perk for your my ball player is, I still don't understand it, but I was watching some other people's videos, and, like, they're getting him up to 125 power, and that's where Bill Hogan needs to be. That's where he rightfully belongs. I mean, that fucker is so damn big, he can bench press 650 pounds for five reps. You'd think he'd have an enough power. Kind of rambling on. Let's strike out Gary or give up a base hit. All right, line drive, Simeon got it. Oh, he's not gonna get two. We gotta start mixing our pitches up. We've just been throwing nothing but fastballs. Get rid of that sinker. Simeon, get it. Throw it. Nice play, nice little flip. Prevent the run from scoring. Just get out Lorenzo Kane, who ain't worth a damn. All right, easy little ground ball for Lou Gehrig. We're getting out of this inning without any runs given up. Now I have to remind the offense real quick with just a little something special that they need to do. The key of hitting baseballs is to hopefully score some runs for your team, and that's how you win baseball games. That was, that was kind of embarrassing. I just had a little voice crack. Trying to give a motivational speech here, and I'm sounding like a pussy. Jesse Winker looks like a little Ewok on the scoreboard. You know them little bastards from Star Wars? That's what he looks like as he absolutely tanks one towards Rolly's chicken fingers. 
It's a one nothing ball game. Hell yeah, Jesse, I like seeing that. Jesse's doing all right. He's already got two home runs in two games. Josh, on the other hand, he's starting to struggle, and he was our best power hitter. It might be that time of the year where we start scouting out some new third baseman. I hate to say it, but he hasn't done shit in a while. Hold that dot. There's a base hit. With him eyes. With him eyes. Pulls it. That might fall a base hit. Oh, it does. About time we might get another catch or two. I don't understand how Mike Piazza is still batting 375. It feels like this guy has not gotten a hit in forever. This dude does nothing but ground out. Well, you're lucky it's not a double play. Walter, he can swing the bat a little bit though too. Watch, he's going to get a base hit. He said, well, we're going to go deep. It's not deep enough, but oh, oh shit, we tagged way too early. Go back. Well, we might just screwed our chance up for scoring more runs unless little ass Duke Snyder can get a base hit. Duke! Up the middle, base hit, drive in the runs, run! Gonna be a close play at the plate with Willie Mays, fuck! <coughs> Hold on a minute, I just inhaled some spit and kinda choking. Let me take a little sip from my sweet tea from Chick-fil-A. All my diet consists of is Dunkin' Donuts, Chick-fil-A, and Chipotle. Coffee and sweet tea, and then, you know, you throw a little water in there too to stay hydrated. Alright, Hogan, could you actually field this baseball? You, you have common fielding right now, but you have a lot stronger of an arm. Kinda sucks we grinded Bill Hogan all the way to a diamond just for me to not be happy with him because he only had 80 power. Now we're getting him to that high power. We're gonna get him grinded up and then you're gonna see some Bill Hogan bombs here soon because I got it figured out. I was confused why he wasn't doing so good, but then I figured it out by just a little YouTube search. Blow this fastball up his ass, Walter. Oh shit, he blew it up your ass. Okay, Walter, that's not ideally what we want. I mean, then again, we're always just throwing fastballs. He's going to catch up to him eventually. All right, he's starting to see the high pitches, so maybe we should go down in the below the zone a little more. Maybe we should go get some Duke's ice cream. Mmm, ice cream. Marcus Simeon is new to the team, so he has yet to have Duke's ice cream and roll his chicken fingers. Something we need to introduce to these boys. He's going to introduce himself by hitting it over by Duke's ice cream. What the hell? I was not expecting anything from that swing from Marcus Simeon, but he hit a bomb, so I'm okay with it. All right, Lou Gehrig's going to connect to one. He's going to hit it onto the damn concourse. Lou Gehrig does not give a damn that you're a lefty. He's going to just hop and skip on in there, give Bill Hogan a little high five. Why does Lou Gehrig run like a bitch? Why does Bill Hogan hit like a bitch? Never mind, he pulls one and he launches it into the upper deck. Bill Hogan just flipped the switch. Hell yeah, there we go. That's the power I'm looking for out of Bill Hogan. Maybe consider taking John Lester out of the ball game. That's what, that's probably what the, I, yeah, there you go. Stumbling on my words. I mean, that's what I would have done a long ass time ago. Doesn't matter because Jesse's going to pull one. It's a home run derby here at the Las Vegas Stadium. I think that's the name of my stadium. I don't even know the name of my stadium. All I do know, though, is that it's a badass stadium, and Josh, he's gonna pull one down the fucking line, too, for a home run. Maybe throw a pitch outside of the zone. You think Willie Mays tallywax one? Yeah, he does. I mean, how many in a row is that? Is that like five home runs in a row? I haven't been keeping count. Come on in there for Mike Piazza. Well, Mike Piazza's gonna end the home run streak, but that's gonna fall a hit. What the hell is his outfielders doing? They're flopping like fish out of water. So how many home runs in a row was that? Well, uh, fucking Walter Johnson casually gets a base hit. I think Marcus hit one, then Gehrig, then Hogan, and then Winker, and then Donaldson, and then Mays. So how many is that? Is that like six? We just had six home runs in a row. It's safe to say that his bullpen will not be going to Duke's ice cream after the game. Duke will, though. That's a base hit, maybe, if he's got the wheels to get to the bag. Marcus, that's a base hit. Walter's gonna run, and he's gonna score. Yeah, he gave up. Fuck it. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think we're gonna play a BR game with this Carlos Santana card right here. One, because Walter Johnson's gassed out, so if I went pitch with him in a ranked seasons game, he'd just pass out on the mound. And two, I've been recording for like 30 minutes, so if I go play another 9 inning game, this is gonna be like a 25 minute video, and I'd rather just keep it down at the like 10, 15 minute mark. So we're gonna draft a BR team. This has just changed really quickly. I do it all on this channel. 
channel, we will do ranked seasons and BR in the same video. So this is probably the point where everyone starts clicking off. Please don't click off just yet. We're gonna draft Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson's gonna be on the team. And so is Duke Snyder. Now you guys have to watch. You guys have to finish the video. Duke Snyder's gonna be in his first BR game this season. So unfortunately, Walter Johnson's debut has come to an end, but it will not be the last time you see him on this channel. So before we go into this game, if you like Walter Johnson and want to see more of him, make sure to subscribe. Please subscribe. I just would appreciate it. I don't even know what the hell to title this video. Do I title it Walter Johnson's debut or do I title it six home runs in a row in a Diamond Dynasty game? Or hell, we might just do both because, I mean, that was two kick-ass things that happened in one game. This guy really has Jacob DeGrom on the mound. Well, you guys might have just saw an awesome kick-ass offensive performance, but we we'll probably won't see one now that he has Jacob DeGrom on the hill because, I mean, he's probably going to shut us down. I can't can't touch this guy in a video game and I for damn sure can't touch him in real life. I mean really no one can. But you know who just might be able to touch him? Ice cream, ice cream. Duke Snyder might be able to touch him. Duke! Hits it into the gap. He doesn't give a shit about Jacob DeGrom. I told you he can touch him. Gonna go there, poke him on the chest and be like, where's my ice cream? Get that motherfucker his ice cream, Carlos. That ball is fucking crushed. Oh my! That ball had a family, Carlos! What is wrong with you? Maybe Chris Davis can do the same thing, or he'll probably just strike out. Chris Davis could not actually hit a beach ball off of a tee in real life. But this card's half decent, so he might be able to poke one out of here. Oh my goodness! I mean, good play by the third baseman, but that ball was scorched. Blake Snell's on the bump. He's only, I think, a silver. They downgraded Blake Snell to a silver. I remember he was complaining about not being a diamond. I mean, shit. Hell, be grateful that you were a gold, because now you're a silver. Hopefully he turns it around, though. Oh, shit. I mean, uh, he hopefully he turns it around, because there's a bomb. So I would like to see Blake Snell go diamond again. That'd be nice. It'd really make him happy and make his day better. So when he goes to the ballpark in real life and gets shelled, he can just get on MLB The Show and see that his player is still a diamond. Right now, his pitching abilities are piss poor. He's just giving up base hits. All right, there's a strikeout. Here's another easy strikeout because we got Suarez in the box. Told you, easy strikeout. Sit down. Damn it! Well, my controller battery's low, but I don't really care. Throw the ball in! Is it is it out of battery? Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Okay, that's gonna stay in the ballpark. I'll be honest right now, though. I'm I'm pretty tired. I was excited heading into this Walter Johnson debut, but this BR game kind of got me bored out of my mind. It was just such a weird transition, but I just don't have enough patience and time to play another ranked seasons game. Mainly because I want to go to bed. It's getting super late. I'm tired. I got work in the morning, too, and then I gotta stay up. Up late that tomorrow night to watch UFC fight night. I'm gonna watch people beat the shit out of each other for like five hours. It's past due my bedtime. It's like one in the morning and I usually go to bed at like 11. We're gonna take out Blake Snell and put in Vita Blue. He looks honestly badass in those jerseys. I can't wait for like the starting pitching version of Vita Blue. That card is so nasty. However, this Vita Blue might be walking Jacob deGrom. Throw it in there and he's gonna give up a base hit instead. What kind of uncoordinated ass play was that? Oh man, I it's bedtime. All right, well, there's possibly another run. Depends on if Jorge throws it in. What is this team doing? Vida has no confidence, so throw it down the middle to pop him up. Good job, Vida. Hopefully that builds back some confidence in you. It did not. He still has no confidence. And I wouldn't either after giving up that pitch. Throw it the second. He's got two runners for some reason. Go get him. Tag him, tag him, okay, let's go hit. I don't know if we're gonna be able to come back or if we're even gonna try to come back, but you know what, we'll, we'll try. Give some entertainment out of this video, maybe we can come back and win and actually take this team somewhere. Kinda sucks this is what this video turned into. It was supposed to be about Walter and we ended it in a BR game for some reason. But then again, I'm honestly glad we played a BR game instead of a second ranked seasons game because I'm super tired. Probably would have been getting my ass handed to me right now in ranked seasons. I can barely see the ball and I really don't want that on my losing record. But yeah, it's bedtime for me. I mean, I, this video is probably gonna get posted in the morning so you guys are gonna be confused on why I'm talking about going to bed. But I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm, I'm tired. You guys have a good morning, good night whenever you watch this. But make sure to subscribe to Chase TV. You guys have a good one.